Here's a question that we probably already know the answer to. How would you like to get a green light every time you pull up at an intersection? How every cool time? would that be? Every, every time? time? Green light. I'm all for it. That's actually happening, though, for school bus drivers in Fulton County, thanks to a pilot program. Here's Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm in Alpharetta. They tried it first for emergency vehicles. Now the city of Alpharetta is giving the green light to a couple of school buses and the transportation director for Fulton County Schools likes what he's seeing. The head of a local technology company tells us how it works. This allows the, the school bus to tell the, trans, the traffic intersection, I'm bringing kids, this is where I am, and this is how fast I'm going. And that signal not only goes to the traffic intersection immediately in front of it, but all the intersections down the road. Brian Mulligan of Atlanta-based Applied Information explains that using cellular vehicle to everything technology, the two Fulton County school buses that took part in the pilot program in Alpharetta found a major reduction in the number of stops, 40%. That led to a 10% reduction in both fuel consumption and emissions. Michael Ruel works for planning and design company Kimley Horn when you kind of sum that up across an entire fleet and look at the overall fuel savings as well as potential emissions, um, really significant improvements in that. Saving time on the route meant buses could double back and pick up another route, a tangible solution to the current driver shortage. Oh, and there was an unexpected advantage that the drivers of the buses reported. Fewer stops led to an improvement in student behavior. With the bus continually moving, they tended to stay in their seat more, they stayed focused, and were able to deliver those students quicker to home or to the school. That was the transportation director for Fulton County Schools. He says he hopes more municipalities will invest in the smart technology. He says it costs about five grand to equip one bus. He'd like more of his buses to have it. That is something the school board will have to decide. In Alpharetta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.